A record 1,000 plus participants hit the Winona Waters and Bluffs in the fifth annual Trinona Triathlon Sunday morning. The growing race that includes both sprint and international swim, bike and running distances started when Winona native David Schutz decided to combine his two passions, his triathlons and his hometown. Well, we started out small our first year. We had about 300 people, largely local. And by this year, we're at over 1,000 participants from across 25 states and Canada. We've got one or two Europeans in the field, uh, several pros on both the men's and women's side. And we've extended it into a uh, kids' event uh, yesterday and a time trial that we added last year. And so it just keeps getting uh, bigger and bigger every year. I love what it's become, and I, I think we just keep uh, doing what we're doing well right now, which is just, you know, catering to athletes and, and what they want uh, out of an experience like this. And yeah, it just, it gets better every year. Chris Sachs captured first place for the sprint distance while Maureen Keene crossed the finish line first for the women. As for the international distance, David Thompson completed the first, uh, completed the race first and Kathy Yenstead won, in, won it for the women. 25-year-old Winona State grad Neil Skog said his has only been competing in triathlons for the past year and never anticipated finishing third in the sprint race. I'm not super strong on the swim and bike and usually I have to try to catch up a bunch on the run and today there wasn't a lot to catch up on the run. I was really surprised so my bike was a lot better today than it ever has been. I felt really strong and on the run I was just able to go get it. And then right after the halfway mark around the turnaround, I was able to pass the guy that wasn't first and just put some distance on him in the last mile and a half. So my transition was really fast after the swim. I think I passed a lot of people just getting in and out of that really quickly. This is my first spring of biking, so I feel really glad that today wasn't pouring because I don't know how to bike in that kind of condition yet because I haven't had any experience with that. It wasn't too bad, actually. It, I didn't really notice it. I mean, when, peop when you're going around people, they're flinging up water in your face and that's about it. But otherwise I didn't almost slip at any point. I wasn't really um, tipping at all. Skog City was able to save a few seconds during transitions by running barefoot.